In his short time at Stafford, the driver they called Superman made the most of it, including adding his name to Sizzler history. Northeast modified ace Greg Sachs honed his skills on the tight bull rings of Long Island, the one-fifth mile Islip Speedway, and the quarter-mile Riverhead Raceway. Sachs made his debut at Stafford in 1980, winding up in victory lane after winning the non-qualifiers race for the Spring Sizzler. He returned to the Stafford half mile a year later to claim his very first feature win. Sachs teamed up with car owner Ernie Wilsberg for the 1982 season, leading to instant achievements. Winning six of eight features to open the year at New Smyrna Speedway in Florida, that momentum carried over to the Spring Sizzler winning the 11th running of the prestigious race after leading the final 64 laps en route to the checkered flag. The magical season continued into weekly racing, winning 12 of 21 events at Stafford and ultimately earning the track's 1982 modified championship. 1983 started much like 82, thanks to his second straight Spring Sizzler victory. Sachs would go on to win two more times that season for owner Ernie Wilsberg, before the team fell apart in August, just two weeks after what would turn out to be his final Stafford win in that year's Modified Madness program. Sachs moved south for 1984, surprising everyone by winning the 1985 Pepsi 400 in one of Cup Racing's biggest upsets. Sachs also claimed a NASCAR Busch Series victory at Talladega in 1996. The 51st running of the Napa Spring Sizzler is set for Sunday, April 30th, 2023, while the Napa Auto Parts dual qualifying races will be held on Saturday, April 29th. Purchase your tickets now at StaffordSpeedway.com.